Hey, this is Good Names, and welcome to a quick episode on how to use Mechanical Advantage in Medieval Engineers instead of this uh, contraption oscillating motor. So Mechanical Advantage is where you have gears with a set number of teeth that create either more speed or more torque on another system. So this green gear is the only one that has power right now, and it's conveniently rotating this yellow gear whenever it touches when the teeth collide. So this green gear has twice as many teeth as the yellow gear. Thus the yellow gear will be spinning at two times the rate that this one is spinning. So as you can see with this model, these red gears, red teeth, line up every other time this one goes around and meet back up once this one does a full rotation. So because the, this gear has two times as many teeth as this one, this gear will rotate twice as fast. Now you can do that the other way for torque, thus reversing this action, making this gear actually be the one rotating, and this one getting the force off of it. But for this case, we're only going for speed. Now this would usually be used for windmills, which they would probably be going at one constant speed constantly. And if you wanted a system that ran faster than that, let's say spooling in a rope for your drop bridge, drawbridge, there we go, correct words. This would be able to spool it in twice as fast as if you were using the original system. Now I'm not sure if they'll have all these blocks in Medieval Engineers, but I do believe that they'll at least have this 2x2 two two angled iron angled portion, and then these 1x1. One one. What I've done here is I've reversed which one is actually powering. As you can see, the smaller gear is rotating when this other gear isn't, so that means this one is under power. Now there'd probably be a better setup as in gears and sizes, but this is one example of you increasing torque and decreasing speed. Now this would probably be used when you have something that you need to act every five or six times you rotate around, and then have something that spools in faster, such as an automatic catapult, which I hopefully will be making soon, don't know when. So now getting into the gear setup, so this gear stays the same for all of them, but I've ch gone through and changed the sizing of this gear. This is technically 3 to I guess 2.5 because the axle is in the middle, 2.5 radius, and this has a radius of 4.5, which because of how these all line up, it got jammed, as you can see, a lot. This has since improved that decreasing this wheel size to 3.5 and keeping this one at the set 2.5 it actually collides with each other quite nicely no matter if this if the green wheel or the yellow wheel is rotating so that's about it now don't forget to leave a comment if you want me to cover something specific or some engineering feat that i can do so far nothing including ropes but i always want to be using ropes when they come out in medieval engineers so, I'll see you in the next one.